capsule or bag but an adequate anterior capsule during FACO, it is not advisable to put a single piece hydrophobic acrylic IOL in the sulcus. Instead, a three piece IOL should be employed in the sulcus. Many of my young friends have expressed discomfort with handling this IOL, especially the injector system, in the case of sensor IOL Emerald Unfolder series. A few of us who have been an eye surgeon for a longer duration, having handled the precursors, silver series etc., and fortunately have no issues with this device. In this film, we will demonstrate implantation of sensor 3 piece hydrophobic acrylic IOLs using the Emerald Unfolder system. The sensor Emerald cartridge looks quite similar to a hydrophilic acrylic IOL cartridge. Inspect it thoroughly under the microscope before loading the IOL. The tube, wings, trough should look okay. The closed wings should form a continuous tube. Inject OVD into the tube of the cartridge and along the bottom of both troughs. Don't use just BSS to prime the system. Now is the time to load the sensor IOL and it can be done in different ways. I am going to demonstrate two techniques in this film. This is the first technique. Place the lens anterior side up across the central hinge of cartridge with the haptics of the IOL corresponding with the IOL drawing on the cartridge wing. Place the leading haptic into the tube and the trailing haptic tip out of the end of the wings of the cartridge. The leading haptic should be visible with its tip pointing forward in the tube portion of the cartridge. Do not allow the leading haptic to be folded back in a loop. The tip of the leading haptic should be straight. In an alternative technique, the IOL can be loaded onto the cartridge from its rear aspect. OVD is applied to the cartridges as usual. Using McPherson forceps, push the IOL forward into the hinge portion of the cartridge. Make sure the edges of the IOL are held below the ledges of the wings. Close the wings and ensure that the leading and trailing haptics are in the right positions as described before. Closing the wings, hold them together prior to inserting the cartridge into the Unfolder Emerald series handpiece. Ensure that the rod is retracted completely. Gently push the cartridge forward into the slot of the handpiece until the cartridge stops. Check to ensure the trailing haptic is to the left of the rod and is not caught by the rod. The tip of the trailing haptic should be placed pointed outside of the handpiece. This may occur simultaneously while loading the lens in the cartridge as you see in this case. And if it doesn't occur, then it should be manually placed outside the handpiece as you see in case 2. The rod should be pushed forward without rotating the screw mechanism until the screw mechanism bottoms out in the handpiece body. Once the screw is bottomed out, rotate screw mechanism to advance IOL until the leading end of the haptic is 1mm to 2mm from the bevel of the cartridge. The surgeon should verify that the leading haptic is pointing forward in the cartridge. Insert the cartridge tube into the incision with the bevel side down. Rotate the cartridge to point the bevel and leading haptic to the surgeon's left. Use the screw mechanism to push the lens optic forward until the leading optic edge reaches the bevel of the cartridge. When the leading edge of the optic reaches the tip of the cartridge, rotate the screw mechanism and the handpiece body as necessary to ensure the leading haptic tip is continuously pointed to the surgeon's left and is not damaged. Continue advancing the rod until the optic is fully deployed from the cartridge tube with the rod extending approximately 1 mm beyond the end of the cartridge tube. Observe the location of the trailing haptic within the tube. The cartridge tip can be used to hold the optic in place during rod retraction. Retract the rod tip just behind the trailing haptic. Rotate the cartridge clockwise until the bevel is pointed down. Engage the trailing loop with the rod and place the loop into the capsular bag as you see in this case. 
If the IOL is completely released with the bevel down, the IOL may release upside down. Also, if the leading haptic tip is not pointed to the left after rotation, the IOL may flip after it is released from the tube of the cartridge. If the haptic is not pointing to the left as the haptic exits the cartridge, remove hand from screw mechanism and rotate handpiece body with cartridge until haptic is pointed to the left. Once haptic is pointed to the left, rotate the screw mechanism and the handpiece body as necessary until optic body is fully released into capsular bag. At times, the trailing loop escapes into the anterior chamber and it can then be dialed into the bag. Alternatively, withdraw the injector from the eye and place the trailing haptic into the bag using your usual method. At the end of the case, we have a very well-centered IOL in the capsular bag. A few pearls. Inconsistent results have been found when using some methyl cellulose OVDs. Avoid using these OVDs if high forces are observed while advancing the IOL through the cartridge. Lens and cartridge to be discarded if lens is in advanced position for more than 30 seconds or if lens is folded in any position within the cartridge for more than 5 minutes. Never reverse rod direction until optic body has been completely released. If IOL haptic is caught between the wings of cartridge, haptic can get detached from IOL during implantation. Unfolded Emerald series cartridge should be discarded after a single use. Do not autoclave or re-sterilize. Do not advance an IOL through a given cartridge more than once. Hope with these guidelines you will be able to handle this very useful 3-piece hydrophobic acrylic lens in a safe manner in an uncomplicated eye. In the next film, the sequel will deal with 3-piece hydrophobic acrylic lens implantation in challenging situations.